Hey there friends, so this video is about the situation when you have a what you think is a very novel and cool idea and it is upon you to decide what to do with it, where to go, what to do as the next step. And there's two fundamental choices. What you can do typically is one, you can write an opinion, perspective or viewpoint paper to get that idea out basically as fast as possible. And the other route to take is to start designing experiments setting things up, maybe securing some of the funding, and then actually carrying that study out. And the downside of that is obviously that this will take quite a lot of time until you have an actual result that then you in the end can then submit for publication. So those are the two fundamental choices. It doesn't mean either and or, you can of course do both, but here is what you can think about. So basically this is the trade-off that I already alluded to. If you have a great idea that's novel and if you're working in a fast moving field where papers come out quickly, then by publishing or at least by submitting for publication an opinion paper, viewpoint paper, a perspective paper in which you just detail your idea can be a huge advantage because if you are setting up an experiment or a study first, which takes a long time, somebody else could have the same idea and then publish this idea first. And so therefore you are in the advantage if you have an opinion paper already out on that topic. So the clear advantage of the opinion paper is speed. But there's also a downside to writing an opinion paper. And that is if you are then of course also setting up an experiment or a study, as one typically does, to test this idea or figure out if, it's, if there's anything to it, then by having already published that opinion paper and by having already that idea out there, that idea is then no longer as fresh <laughs> as it would have been um, if you had not published this opinion paper. So this is sort of the trade-off that you take sort of a little bit the wind out of your sails for, let's say, if you're setting up uh, an experiment or a study on your, based on your innovative idea and then this has already been basically spelled out in the previous paper. So the two papers basically start competing with each other. So this is the, the fundamental trade off that you need to think about. So what to do? How do you decide? Well, of course, you need to discuss with your peers or if you're a PhD student or postdoc, you discuss this, of course, with your supervisor. And there are several points to consider. Like one of the most important points is how risky and how difficult and how much logistics is involved in actually carrying out that study or experiment. I think this is probably one of the most important considerations because if this is a super difficult to set up experiment, so if the study is very difficult to carry out, and if it's a high risk study, which means there's a very high probability because of, for whatever reason, because of logistics involved or because of the new methods that you would have to use, that the study would fail, then of course you compound <laughs> the risk and the delay and the time considerations by doing an experiment that may actually fail a few times before it is successful. Now if that is the situation you are facing, so if you can anticipate that the experiment or the study that you would have to do to basically check your idea out is going to be very high risk of failure and is going to take a long time, then that tips the balance a little bit towards writing an opinion paper on this first. Whereas if the study is a relatively straightforward study, a proof of principle study that can be set up relatively fast and comes with relatively little risk, then of course that would very much be in favor of setting up that experiment and like holding back that opinion paper so it doesn't take the wind out of the sails of the actual empirical study. And of course what it comes all down to is like your own critical self-reflection of how awesome, how innovative and how novel an idea it is. That is difficult to do, right? If it's difficult for everybody because you normally know what was a really cool idea in hindsight. You don't know it so much at the time. So it takes experience, but it also takes, you know, a good amount of risk taking. So if this is a more, let's say, incremental idea, so it's not a huge step forward that opens up, like, let's say, a whole new research field or a field of inquiry, then it may be better just do that experiment and make your point. But if you have a feeling that this could start a whole new line of research, then it may be very good to sort of lay the groundwork or the foundation for that new line of research and write an opinion paper where you just make clear what your idea is, how novel it is and so forth. But of course, as I said, that making that judgment like how awesome is that idea that is super difficult uh, to make at the time when you have that idea. 
Well, another important consideration though is, is there a current event? Is there a certain immediacy? Is there an upcoming policy meeting or an upcoming policy decision or whatever the case may be in your particular field uh, on which this idea touches? And then it may be a very good idea to take the momentum of this uh, current event that is going on or unfolding to write an opinion paper because once an event is passed, basically, you know, then uh, the relative interest in that uh, particular topic or question may decline. And so it's very good if you can sort of use the uplift, <laughs> as, as it were, from, from these kinds of uh, events or major important meetings, let's say, and uh, to just bring that idea out to the people in a form of opinion paper, which can be relatively fast. And finally, the last point to consider is like, can you actually combine this idea or this concept development or this little analysis that you have done that would be forming the basis for your opinion paper? Can you actually use that on, and combine it with another analysis, which can be either another um, conceptual exercise or it can be more like empirical data collection? And can you thereby, by pooling these kinds of ideas and related concepts, have much greater impact by um, having a, a more complete paper basically in the end. So if this is a possibility then it may be good to save some ideas from opinion papers up and then combine them to a more impactful, let's say more full review um, perspective or a similar paper that you also combine with uh, empirical analyses, which could be meta-analyses, systematic mapping, bibliometrics, or just more involved techniques that make it a more well-rounded story. Well, so <laughs> as you can see, first of all, it's super difficult to have a, a very good idea. This is the most difficult thing in science. But once you have it, I think then it's, a, it's really critical how you decide to go about it. And I hope this video gave you some insights into at least how I think about it and how to develop this idea in the best way. And all the best for you and your awesome idea and I hope you have a great result if you decide to test your idea. With that, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.